official morning welcome back to my channel if you're subscribed hello if you're new i'm amy chen and i'm a first year pharmacy student at aston university um literally exposing myself right now like i've literally just woken up it's monday the 22nd of march i thought i'd do a weekly vlog of life as a pharmacy student at aston let's get into the video so it's a Monday morning and I've just submitted my draft. Basically it's an integration of all the themes that we've covered so far and we're given six case studies that we have to write about. So let's just allow the fact that I'm wearing a Harry Potter pyjama set. <laughs> Good morning, happy Tuesday. So I did get a lot of questions on what I took for A-levels. So I took biology, chemistry and maths. And I got a BBC, so that's two Bs from the biology and maths and a C in chemistry. I, I did feel like I got done by by my teachers and the government. But I genuinely do feel like everything happened for a reason. Nottingham was my first choice and Aston was my insurance. How I see it is just that I'm really grateful that I'm even able to get to university, be able to at the moment pay for it, um, pay to actually live, have all these privileges and things that I can essentially just buy when I want to. Like I'm so grateful for that. So that's the main thing and that I'm healthy, alive and so my family, etc, etc. I'm gonna try and enjoy my meal, I don't even know, you can hear me. Philly with salmon, two bagels, pop chips, cherry cola, had to use up some salad that's basically out of date now. Had to be rational with the Philly because I've got none left. And I've become so stingy at uni that I actually can't finish a packet off anymore because it costs money, so I've gone for half the packet. It's actually so ridiculous how loud this is. As I've been out for the rest of the day, it means that I now have to catch up on my work from today, annoyingly, but I thought while I'm here I will answer the question about how am I finding the M Farm course so far at Aston. I'm actually really enjoying it. For me I think it's so hard to actually remember the content and I'm always feeling like I will listen to lectures, I'll make notes, but then I won't be able to retain that information. But that was that's always been a struggle for me, especially in sixth form. I didn't really do work like I should have done. Obviously we had a much longer time like, away from education. It's definitely taken a toll on me. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. My favourite would have to be the patient section of the course. I think it's just the whole unpredictable nature of everything being online. I've only been in three times for three practicals. You're trying to balance your social life alongside restrictions and then trying to stay mentally sane. <laughs> wanted to go to the library this morning to study for the first time but I genuinely think I might fall asleep so so I managed to get about two hours sleep 
And we're now about to start work. The building work here starts between 9, 9 and 6 o'clock. So I'm taking this noise as a positive and I'm seeing it as a sign that I should go to the library to study. So I've got my lanyard with my ID and I'm going to try and get some work done in silence. Okay, I'm actually so glad that I went to the library first thing in the morning. I escaped all the drilling noise and I'm on my way to Audi to get lunch. Just got back from Audi. Someone told me how it's fair that we had to pay full price for accommodation for constant noise. Personally, I just don't think it's fair at all. ridiculous time and not being able to fall back to sleep. It's nearly 5 a.m. and I literally look like I'm about to tell you a horror story. I have a chocolate bar as you do at this time. I do feel like this vlog is getting extremely long but who cares at this point. So later I have a teams meeting to go over one case from the synoptic draft that you would have seen from earlier in the vlog and then next week we have two exams one using a software called script and then another on all the practicals that we've done this year so we're currently in week 23 after this week we have one week left and then that's all the content that we ever need to learn for the first year done which is crazy to think about and then after that it's pretty much exams and then our last exam is a written exam is on the 19th of May and I'm pretty sure after that we're free so we basically have a four month summer holiday which time has literally gone so quick like how is it the 25th of March Christmas was four months ago like someone explain how that's happened but I hope you're good and um, hopefully you've had a good start to the year. Things are looking more positive. So fingers crossed that the next academic year and the next couple of months will be much, much better. <laughs> sleep last night so I'm in a much better mood. Easter officially starts after today the 26th but we have one week left for pharmacy and then after that we break up for all three weeks. I also forgot to add at the beginning of this video that we were told in February I think it was or the start of March that everything for the rest of the academic year would be online so I've only been in for three practicals in person but everything else has been online, taught online, etc, etc. Because I want to get this video up today, the 26th at 5, it means that this won't be like a full day of vlogging. But I also wanted to say that um, I don't always wear the same stuff. I do like to change constantly throughout the day so I don't fully get an entire day's wear out of the clothes all the time and trust me when you come to uni you'll realise how expensive washing is so sometimes you've got to kind of wear stuff over again. In terms of socially there's not much you can do. 
there's no parties going on, or not that I know of, and not that I have enough friends for me to know about. Yeah, because of restrictions, it's so hard and security is quite tight. As I was saying, there's not much you can do right now because uni isn't the most social place. Of course, that is the exception of some parties and motives being held, but personally, it's just not for me, you know. We're in the third lockdown, I want this to be over, so the only way it can be over is if we actually follow the rules. And as a pharmacy student, I feel like I should definitely be following it, just like all the other people that are, or the majority of people that are following the rules. That's going to conclude the video. I do apologise for always saying so, like, and but. But I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative in some sort of way. Please give it a like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you for coming back if you are subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video.